are you feeling? Wonderful. <laughs> Legendary, as they say. Awesome. Taking today off, what is your hope and what is your plan for the day? Yeah, my plan is obviously to play. Uh, that's my hope. Um, just going to continue to listen to what the training room wants me to do and take it one day at a time. And defensively, how much does it change? We got you even there just for today's practice, and, and what do you try to instill in your guys to prepare just in case? Yeah, nothing's to change. Yeah, the standard remains the same, uh, whether we're going half speed, not full speed, uh, whether it's a walkthrough, whether it's a practice, everything got to stay the same, man. we got to be intentional about what we're doing. We're not resting on anything that we've done. Uh, we know it's a, another huge opportunity and challenge in front of us uh, in the Cardinals, and so we're excited about it. Watching you on the sidelines after you came out of the game, it looked like you were expending almost yeah. as much energy there as you were on the field. What, what was that, what's that part like? Yeah, obviously, I'm, I'm so eager to be in there at any point. Um, you know, I wanted to be out there to, support, to make plays for my team. But then if I can't, then I'm obviously going to support whoever is out there and uh, do whatever I can to keep the, keep the guys going. Was that exhausting in its own way? I was a little sore from all the yelling and screaming, yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Fred, I don't know if you can see me. Um, yeah, I see. <laughs> did you see Malik Mustafa's block yeah. while it was happening? And what was it like <laughs> while to go back happening. and watch it? Not while it was happening. There was way too much going on in, in the moment. But to go back and watch all the guys blocking uh, was just incredible, uh, especially him, to see him shoot through there. I don't know what made him do that. I mean, he just plays with his hair on fire, man, full speed at all times. Uh, was was a critical block in that play. But to see all of them blocking, man, I mean, you talk about having love and – uh, you know, that camaraderie for your brother playing next to you, and then that, that's a play right there where I don't get in the end zone unless everybody's playing together, so it was cool. Fred, with where the standings are and how crucial the next eight days are to a division opponents, how, how big is this stretch considering if you put the Cardinals just back another one early on, how important is this two-game stretch here in the next eight days? Yeah, I mean, it's important because it's a divisional opponent and it's the next one, right? Um, you know, obviously they want to get back on track. We want to show that we're, we're continuing to train in the right direction that we want to go. Um, this is everything because it's the next one. You guys have really had to lean into the next man up mentality this season, and it seems like that really came together, especially on defense last week. So just how rewarding is that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it means that guys are taking taking the job serious regardless of if they're the one, two, three, uh, fourth guy. You know, everybody's ready to go at any point, and that's what you're going to need is the NFL. Guys get banged up, and you got to – it's a nice man up and top. Aside from the block, Mustafa threw, what was it like playing with him? It was his first six you – know, he's played all 64 snaps. He'd never done that before. Had an early missed tackle and dropped a pick. But in between, there was pretty a lot of good stuff, it seemed like. Yeah, a lot of great stuff, man. I love Matt. I love what he, he's brought to our defense. Uh, I've loved his mindset from the moment he came onto our team. Um, I think he's made of the right stuff. I think he's going to what The way he's made, I know he's going to continue to get better. So that's what I love to see. Fred, it kind of seems like you've taken your play to another. Obviously, you've always been really good. But is there anything in the offseason? I know you had your son in the offseason. Is there any inspiration, anything that you can kind of point your finger to that's changed your mindset coming into this year? I think that's a big part of it, you know, having my son, it kind of clears all all the gray area in your life of what's important, what's not important, so you can just be clear of mind, um, you know, remove distractions, things that you, you realize things that aren't important, serve no purpose in your life, and uh, you're able to go out there and just play free. Ricky Pierce, I was working his way, he's getting closer than not, I guess, what have you seen from him and how inspiring it'll be when, when he's eventually able to get back on the field? Yeah, I'm excited for Ricky whenever he does get that nod. Uh, you know, man, obviously he's been working his tail off to get back after that unfortunate situation. But, I mean, man, I love the way that Ricky came in uh, from day one and has competed and been a guy that everybody has uh, meshed with in the locker room, just the, the, the type of guy he is. Um, so I'm excited for when he does get that opportunity. Fred, you guys re-signed Jalen Graham, and, and uh, he's got a lot of talent. What do you what do you think of his potential? My dog, Jalen, man, having him back big time. Uh, you know, it sucked when we had to let him go, um, you know, to the commanders, but having him back is a big deal. I think I think he's a phenomenal player, man. I think he, you know, the athleticism, uh, his smarts, his feel for the game, you know, I think he can help us in a lot of ways. Tyler Murray, how does he look now compared to I think he's the, he's the best that he's been, honestly. Um, you know, everybody saw that huge game he had against the Rams with some of those throws that he was making. But, um, you know, I think he, the thing that he's developed over time is the ability to, to really tr stay in the pocket and play the position uh, at a really high level. You know, he's always been phenomenal. He, at any moment, he could play, you know, at an MVP level, you know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure we're on top of it going into this game. Brock was mic'd up this past weekend. What's it like for you when you're mic'd up? Like it, love it, hate it? 
Yeah, I don't mind it. You know, it's uh, it's interesting to go back and see because you don't really realize what you're saying in the moment, and then you go back and watch it. And you're like, oh shoot, that's probably uh, clean things up. <laughs> I'm sure Brock didn't have that issue. Uh, yeah, I gotta go watch it. Thanks, man. All right, guys. Thank you.